In this video you'll get a compact overview of the latest Flutter and Dart package releases. From October 18 to 24 we had around 139 new releases. Let's have a quick look at this week's top 10. Number 10 is called Universal File, a cross-platform file and directory that works in all platforms. The purpose of the library is to be able to use the file class everywhere. Number 9 is called PyMenu, a Flutter library that provides a customizable circular context menu similar to the one from Pinterest. Number 8 is called Desktop WebView Window. Show a WebView window on your Flutter desktop application. Number 7 is called Dio Retry Plus, a plugin for Dio that retries failed requests. Number 6 is called Navigation Draw Menu, a Flutter Material Design Navigation Draw Menu. The pattern includes a basic hamburger menu but isn't limited to small screens. The menu pattern suits all screen sizes. On larger screens you see the icon and text, smaller screens will display icons only and on phones the menu will disappear during normal use and slide in with the hamburger icon. Number 5 is called Windows Taskbar, a Flutter plugin serving utilities related to the Windows Taskbar. Number 4 is called Blurry, a new Flutter dialog widget with blurry effect and built in themes. Number 3 is called XMPP Plugin, helping to connect with XMPP via native channels and native libs like Smack Android and iOS via XMPP Framework. Number 2 is called Inspector and is for inspecting widget size and color, useful for quick debugging or QA testing. And last but not least, the number one of release week 42, the package Search Bar Animation, providing the horizontal slide animation to a search bar and it is fully customizable. If you enjoyed this video and want to support me and my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Also make sure to support the developers of those awesome packages by hitting the like button on the documentation page. Those were the top 10 of the week. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great week and see you soon.